the mission of Tara Oceans is a dream for every oceanographer and uh, I hope that this dream will come true and uh, we will uh, circumnavigate the planet and we will uh, gather unique data on uh, ecosystems in different uh, physical conditions from from a, a North Pole to South Pole in Indian Pacific or Atlantic Ocean from virus to fish and this is uh, quite unique uh, because uh, we will be able to extrapolate uh, uh, the production of matter, the export of matter, what will come back to atmosphere. Will it warm up more than it is now or will it export to the deep uh, ecosystem? And uh, then we will have also, of course, interaction with uh, all our colleagues from all around the world. Tara, I hope so, will become a worldwide expedition, a worldwide uh, occasion to understand better the oceans. The working day, you know, hard day's night. <laughs> it will be a hard day. Uh, every two days we will stop for eight hours and uh, we will uh, deploy one after other different instruments. In fact, we will rely a lot on very modern autonomous sensors because the boat is only about uh, 36 meter long we will have uh, to use modern technology to get out most of the information so we will have a lot of new electronic devices used in submersibles or uh, used in uh, autonomous vehicles that are now released in the world then we will sample by traditional methods like uh, nets and uh, bottles that we will uh, filter and that will concentrate. We will have microscope, we will have different automatic uh, analyzers on board and uh, this living stuff will be immediately analyzed, recognized and then it will be put into image and will be distributed around our colleagues in the whole world through satellites from Terra. The uh, deployments, uh, we just simulated it now, um, it's a tough work. Uh, every 10 minutes something is coming out from the sea, something is going in, people are going from left to the right, carrying very expensive samples, very rare samples, and we uh, are doing everything in order not to split and not to lose samples. There will, uh, we will have a container, there we will condition the samples. One part of the samples will be uh, uh, left behind for other generation, for the next generations, because new technologies will arise, but these new technologies will never find the state of the seed as we will find it now. So we will keep one part of samples for future generation. This will be a heritage of Tara. And uh, we will also work in real time and transmit data and information in real time and have this contact with all these scientists from around the world on real time basis. And uh, these eight hours will be followed then by at least eight hours of sample preparation of sample or data uh, treatment and uh, uh, data connection with other laboratories. To know how, what is composed, from what is composed an ecosystem, as I told you, from virus to fish in different regions of the ocean is essential, as well as the connection between the different regions. Uh, for example, uh, people can say, what is a region in the wide ocean? The ocean itself is a region. No, because you have the wind system, which is blowing according to the circulation of the earth in steady directions and uh, different regions are turning on, them, on themselves. So they are isolating inside of the sea the specific region. And this isolation um, uh, uh, allow rising specific ecosystems. And then on the edges of these systems, the yeah, dynamic is very strong. The currents are strong because it is like uh, in, 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 a, in a ball, at the periphery of the ball, if you are turning it, the current is stronger. The same thing in the eddies, the, the periphery, the, the current is stronger. And the stronger current will give rise 
a higher system of algae or photosynthesis, which will then uh, drive a higher uh, metabolism and a lot of new species or other species will rise up on this system. So you have systems, you have the edges and the transition between different systems. And we have to know uh, the composition of these ecosystems and to know how the different species uh, pass from one system to other. For example, now we are speaking about global warming. What we saw in Atlantic, Northern Atlantic, that this warming of even one degree Celsius of the superficial ocean allow to species from warmer seas to invade the uh, northern seas. And then it is, has a very strong uh, implication on, on fishery, for example. Very strong implication on uh, human, uh, human health. Because if uh, a different kind of medusa or uh, uh, other gelatinous organisms will, in, will invite uh, in different regions, uh, human will act differently. So uh, all this relationship uh, will be uh, studied on board of CARA. And uh, from one region to other, we will define the ecosystem and the relationship between them, such as genetic flows from one system to other, species migration, from, and invasions. The emergency of this study is enormous. Uh, we know that we are in the transition period. The uh, atmosphere is changing, the sea state is changing, the chemistry of the sea is changing, for example, the acidification is, uh, seems to be proved that it's progressing. The uh, oxygen in the uh, intermediate layer of the sea is uh, decreasing. How the living uh, part of the sea will react to these changes? We have to make a state of the art of the situation. This will be the baseline which will use to be compared to the past and future uh, studies. The risk, uh, the risk is um, mostly the change and uh, when uh, things change the human has to um, adapt to it but sometimes it's very difficult when in uh, Norway for example the uh, fish disappeared from the northern parts uh, villages will abandon uh, uh, what are doing people who abandon their villages has to find other places to live so will there be migrations because the uh, ecosystem will change, because uh, the atmosphere will change, because the desertification will progress? Yes, there will be change. How a human will adapt to it with all this demographic pressure? Will there be wars? Or not? I don't know. But uh, these changes will be studied and will be understood, uh, one part of them, from this uh, expedition.